Richard, uh, tell me uh, your reaction to uh, one of the stories that was in the newspapers on uh, on Wednesday about the governor's new book coming out. At one point, he n- mentioned uh, or thought about resigning. Which have, what do you know about the governor's book? Well, just from what I've read, and you know, obviously, I think when you're somebody who transitions, um, particularly later in life, like he did, from the you know private sector uh, into the chief executive officer of a state, uh, the governor. Uh, there was a lot of uh, there was a period where there was a lot of um, mistakes made, and it took him a while to get his footing. And it seems to me, you know, just from reading uh, the book, that you know those first six months of his term were uh, pretty turbulent, and they obviously took a toll on him personally as well as his wife. And um, I think you know obviously it was a tough transition for him, but obviously he's at a point right now where he was able to overcome it. And uh, in his second term here, uh, he's obviously started off um, a lot stronger uh, than he did the first time. And so he's obviously learned from uh, that first, you know, six-month experience uh, to, uh, to this new yeah. uh, term that he's in right now. Just as far as yourself is concerned, uh, you know, legislator, senator for over 20 years representing the North Shore, uh, last November or last uh, summer into the fall, ran for lieutenant governor statewide. What did you learn about? What was that experience like? You know what I learned um, being the North Shore, living in the North Shore all my life. I learned that there's a rest of the state, and um, <laughs> you go out to the Berkshires. They consider themselves a totally different area. Um, they don't get Boston TV. They don't read the Boston papers. They're more in tune. Actually, all their local news comes from Albany, New York. Then you go to Springfield. They have their own uh, affiliates for TV. They have their own newspapers. You go to Southeastern Mass. They're more Rhode Island oriented. Yeah, yeah. And so I learned that Massachusetts isn't really one. It's more like four or five different states that are all sort of cobbled together. And I learned that um, no matter where I went all across the state, um, you know, it's a beautiful state. And um, the thing that, you know, there's um, all types of great natural resources. But the thing that was most struck me the most is that the people of the state are really the most um, valuable resource that we have because we have like incredibly smart people, um, kind people, people who make all kinds of things um, all over the place, um, a lot of family-owned businesses, very impressive and a, a great experience everywhere I went.